Hi everybody and welcome to Fab Talks. I'm Nikki and today I'm excited to share the first in our series of Dollar Tree Decor and Organization DIYs specifically geared towards small spaces. As a college senior who has also done a semester abroad and a foreign internship, I have lived in five different small spaces over the last three years. Through these experiences, I learned a few tips and tricks on how to maximize a small space. I hope to share many of these ideas in the upcoming series, but today we'll start with some bathroom decor items that maximize countertops with a small footprint and smart use of vertical space. This cotton ball and q-tip caddy and matching two-tiered shelf are perfect low-budget decorations for a small bathroom. Before we get started, I'd like to give a quick shout out to our awesome followers. If you're a, follow if you're a fellow crafty individual and this is your first time here at Fab Tax, please consider following us for all of our new hacks and DIYs. And of course, please leave a like, comment, or share this video if you enjoyed. All right, let's get started. To make the cotton ball and q-tip caddy, I first made the canisters by using these acrylic water glasses, mini round bowls, and mini silver spoons from the party section of the Dollar Tree. The mini round bowls fit perfectly over the glasses to make a cute canister, and the two spoons tops glued together make beautiful handles for the tops. To create the handles, I took two spoons and then applied um, hot glue to one part of the one spoon. And then I kind of set that to dry for a second. And while that was drying, I snapped the top off of the other spoon to make the part of the handle. What you're gonna do now is hold the two parts together so that they line up right. And then the one part of the already snapped spoon will be attached to the top of the unsnapped spoon. Let that dry for a second and or make sure it's kind of 100% in place and then let that dry for a second while you do the other two. Now that they're all done, what you're going to do is snap off the top half of the other one and snap it bending down so that it kind of has a nice clean break. And you'll see that it gives you a lovely little handle for the top of your canister. Now to attach it to the top, what you're going to do is flip over one of the small bowls and add a little bit of hot glue to the bottom of the top handle. Um, be careful with this because I added a little too much glue and it kind of went off the sides. So then once you have your glue on it, what you're going to do is line it up with the little center dot and just make sure that it's all in the middle and leave it to dry. To make the tray for the canisters to sit on, I got this 3 by 12 inch foam marble tile from the Home Depot, which only cost $1.61. An even cheaper option for this is a white tile, which only costs 55 cents. I will provide a link in the description box for both the tiles. To give the tile a finished look, I painted metallic silver paint around the edges. Afterwards, I wiped off the excess paint with like a little wipey. Then I took these napkin rings from the Dollar Tree and glued four to the bottom to create feet for the tray. To finish it off, I took the two remaining napkin rings and glued them to each side for a decorative accent. Next, I glued the glasses to the tile and then filled them with cotton balls, cotton rounds, and q-tips. A little piece of advice for this would be to probably glue the two outside um, glasses to the tile first and then glue the middle so that you know it's lined up exactly in the middle. After they're all filled, I just popped on the tops and you can see how cute they look all together. And here's how it all came together. To make the two-tiered shelf, I used two packages of the napkin rings to make the side risers, gluing them on the sides where they touch using E6000. I then put the two risers into a cardboard box, pushing them into the corners to ensure I got a precise edge and then set them aside to dry.
Next, I took two of the same faux marble tiles and again painted them on the sides with silver metallic paint to give them a nice finished edge. Once the paint was dry, I added the napkin ring feet to one of the tiles. This tile will end up being your bottom shelf. Once the two side risers were nice and set, I took the tile with the feet and glued the risers on top of that. While the side risers were drying, I went ahead and took the two remaining napkin rings and glued them to each side of the top of the top tile. With the risers nice and dry, I went ahead and put on the E6000 glue on top of each of the four little napkin rings on top and then carefully placed the top shelf on top of that, making sure it was all aligned with the bottom. And there you have it. There's the finished product with some makeup essentials, some skincare essentials um, neatly placed on top. With both of these projects, we were really able to make the most of a small space by adding in that vertical storage. The tiles are both less than 4 inches in width, which makes them easy to fit on tight countertops. They make the perfect addition to streamline a tiny bathroom and help avoid clutter. Plus, they look much snazzier than their approximately $5 price tags. For more small space decor, please make sure to be on the lookout for our next videos in the series, including a gorgeous customizable makeup organizer. Thanks for watching, see you next time.